Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. <laughs> that one hurt my soul a little bit. <laughs> that was a pumpkin in my face. So I think I'm allowed to be a little whole pumpkin. I'm not a fan of pumpkin. I will say that. That is my controversial statement for today. Is I'm not a big fan of pumpkin. Pumpkin pie? Nah. Nah. I'm sorry. I know that's crazy. I know everyone else. Most people I know are big fans of pumpkin. Could it be me? Writing notes? Now, are they notes on what I like or on my weaknesses? That's a question. Oh, that's right. I was here in Mumford. What was I doing in Mumford? It's been like a hot second. Oh, okay. I don't remember if I read all this before, so I'm not going to repeat it. I think I was here for a specific reason. I don't remember if I talked to everyone in town, though, so I think I might do that because I don't recognize the back buildings. So maybe I should just go look around and remind myself what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Was there something with the car? There was something with the car, I think. Howdy, I'm Fanta. Y'all must be the heroes I've heard so much about. That's us. Are y'all enjoying your stay in our humble little town? It's lovely. Oh yes, it's lovely here. We really appreciate having a cozy place to rest on our mission. That's wonderful. We don't have much in the way of enemies, but we're proud of what we have here. If y'all have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer. I'm sort of the one woman welcome wagon around these parts. So got anything you want to ask? Um, where are we? Yeah, let's just remind myself where I am. This might seem like a silly thing to ask, but where exactly are we? The Celestial Wasteland. It's a flowing landmass hovering way above the ocean a few miles from the Sapphire Islands. Oh, so we didn't travel that far from them after all. We're all from Greenwich. That still leaves a lot of questions, though. How come we'd never seen this place floating in the sky before? And why can't we see the ocean below us? For whatever reason, the wasteland is hidden with a field of magical energy. That's the green sparkly stuff you see in the sky. It makes us invisible from the outside, and most pilots tend to steer clear to avoid electrical interference. Of course, some folks know we're here now, so we get curious adventurers like yourselves visiting from time to time. I heard this explanation yesterday, I'm still not sure I completely get it. I try not to think too hard about it. So got anything else you want to ask? So you're zombies? You don't have to answer this when I'm being too nosy, but... You're all undead, right? Yes, ma'am. I had no idea it was possible to bring people back from the dead. Where did you guys come from? I'm afraid I'm not sure myself. Actually, none of us are. We all just got woken up one day and found ourselves here in the wasteland. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Can't recall anything about it. Our first lives. Interesting. Oh, okay, thank you, Claire, for confide corroborating my own f thoughts. It sounds like there are even more mysteries afoot here than we thought. Huh? Oh, great. I'm getting a phone call. Um, one second. This might be from the vet's office, so I'm gonna BRB a quick hot second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, it was the vet office, so I did have to answer that really quick. Hopefully, we are fully back. I think the ad that automatically runs is over. So, yeah. We're back, and we'll continue from that. Sorry about that again. Sounds like there are more, even more mysteries afoot here than we thought. We knew we needed to build a place to stay, though, so we got together and built Mumford out of available junk. The rest is history. So got anything else you want to ask? So what's with the cowboy thing? Huh? Oh, it's just entertaining. I can drop the accent if you want, it's totally fake. No, by all means, you do you. Thank you kindly. I take it you're all big fans of westerns? Nope, we hate most of them, actually. But we found a big stash of cowboy movies in the ruins for some reason. After a bunch of movie nights stuck watching cowboys, we thought it'd be funny to replicate them. I mean, we got the perfect location for it. And if the shoe fits, well... So it just started out as ironic? I suppose you could put it like that. 
The thing is, you can only do something ironically for so long before it becomes genuine. So here we are. But some of us are more into the roleplay than others. Yeah, I don't see how Neff's mummy thing fits in thematically. Neff likes to do her own thing. Actually, we thought about trying different themes. Maybe putting it up for a boat. Not like we've got much better to do. Ooh, I meant sci-fi. Yes, yeah, sci-fi! Thank you, Melody! Wow, I literally Melody. <laughs> very gay for her girlfriend and into sci-fi. And also very shy. <laughs> you do have a lot of robot friends around here. Oh wait, is that insensitive? <laughs> See, that's what I thought, but the robot said it was too on a nose. Okay, that's fair. So, there anything you want to ask? What exactly is the purpose of all the machinery up here? It's everywhere and it all seems so advanced. No clue! All this stuff was here before us, and it seems positively ancient. Could have been here for decades or centuries. Maybe all this stuff is pre Fortuna. You really think this might be over a thousand years old? Well, not all of it. But the robots and stuff that all over the canyon walls? Who knows? We all got our personal theories on what the machines do, though. My theory is it was a big strip mining operation designed to extract everything of value from this hunk of floating land. Some of my neighbors have more fanciful theories, though. Maybe you can ask them. Thank you. Anytime, my friend. Okay, yeah, that's fair. We don't need to go into people's houses. Jody, keeping me on the level. Um, is there anyone else around? Oh, here. Howdy, travelers. Name Stretch. We saw the little show you put on with the other cowboy earlier, you know? You did? Oh, that's just a little game my best buddy Squash and I like to play to pass the time. A game that involves shooting each other? Yep. Don't worry, though. We only fire blanks. It's perfectly safe. Alright. Well, as long as it's safe. Hmm. Let me see what else is in town before I fully leave it. I already bought new equipment, which is nice. Oh, look at her! She's gardening! Oh, she's so cute! Hi, mine! Welcome welcome to the stream! I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. Oh, um, hello. You must be the travelers I've been hearing about. I'm Florence. What you doing over there? Oh, this is Mumford's Community Garden. It's hard to make actual plants grow here, you see. So to liven up the scenery a bit, I've started making plants out of scrap metal. Wow! So, are all the palm trees and cacti we've seen your work as well? They are. They really enhance the atmosphere, I think. Actually, all the cacti on the desert are a part of the big sensor array set up to keep an eye on all the feral robots. Sorry, taking a sip. <laughs> In exchange for helping her with that, she gets me a lot of scrap metal for my personal projects here. Very cool. We'll let you get back to it. Okay, I think that was the town. At least all the people in town that I can talk to without barging into their houses. Um... Oh, yeah, we were supposed to go talk to her, to go somewhere. I don't remember where, though. Now, you said you had some leads. Cool. So there's this big facility over in the northwest corner of Wasteland. That sounds about good. Off in another plant place is a guy called Blank. We love Blank here in this channel. I mean, Blank's everywhere. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Have you seen the big cube? It's- it's near the big cube? It is, in fact, near the big cube. It's really easy to get there now that all the paths in and out of town are open again. It's just a hunch. But there's been a lot of suspicious activity around there recently. I'll go on ahead and scout out the area. You guys should definitely stock up on supplies in case there's trouble. Meet me there when you're ready. Should we ask Allison's mom for help? Or don't interject. Interject. I think Allison wants to do her own thing, and if I feel like I add that, she'll feel kind of, like, uncertain about herself. Alright, in the northwest corner of the desert. Got it. Let's go, team. This implies that there's multiple ways this could go, and that's very interesting. I will just save really quick. So, south. She says it's northwest. 
but to go southwest first? I was a little confused with that. You go north here. On. I uh... Thank you, Jody. Jody's so helpful. Just gonna look around a little bit. Okay, can I remember all the weaknesses? I think they're weak to the to electricity. The middle one weak to fire. Well, I'm gonna kiss Allison. That's my first thing to do. and so strong. Okay. So, um, I could do Gust here and then attack these robots. I think, uh, you, though, should probably... Matifer says, your favorite breakfast is croissants. Love them to death. I love croissants, too, especially just, like... Actually, for my last Christmas dinner, my parents bought a huge pack load of croissants so that we could have them with our spaghetti. Very delicious. One thing I really enjoyed about my trip to France was getting these the, these legit nice croissants from a local bakery. Very nice breakfast. here. It's a little cave. Looks like something's supposed to fit here. Okay, fine. That's fair. It can wait. They do need to be fresh. They're best fresh, but I understand. I mean, you know, my parents live very far out of town, so there is no really a way to get fresh croissants that way. My dad is learning how to bake, so maybe, maybe that's why he's learning how to bake, so he can finally get fresh croissants. Funky artifact. I gotta kiss Allison then. Oh, that's right. They're all the small things. I'm gonna do theme song, because I like to do theme song. And then if I want magic missile, I'm gonna have to build that. So let's do frost. And... Restaurants don't serve them? Most of the ones that I know. They're, they, like most restaurants that I go to, they serve like, 
little pieces of, you know, like little, what is the word? You know, little bread rolls. But not croissants. I'm trying to think of like one restaurant that might have croissants. But I honestly can't think of them. If you mean back in France, um, I don't think any of the restaurants in France had croissants. I think they also had bread rolls, but they were also fresh. The only place that I got croissants was from the, like, actually going to, like, a bakery straight up. What backwards world is this? I mean, 70% of restaurants here have it as a breakfast option. I live in a third world country. Hey, Matifer, don't you know? We don't use the term third world country anymore. I think we use global south now. But as for that, um, I don't know really how to tell you. I, I guess... I mean, to be fair, I don't usually go to eat out for breakfast. Global South, I think. I think it's something like that. I remember reading, uh, reading or hearing about that. New, like... Because, uh, the terms came from, you know, divisions in the war. Oh wow, that guy turned transparent. So there's like another term that are that is used nowadays that people say it's supposed to be more accurate to what people refer to when they say third world country. I think it's global south or something like that. I have not heard it used enough times to be quite sure, so don't quote me on that. Side of the equator sucks. It, you know what? That does. <laughs> I was. I was. Uh. If that is the term, I don't remember. I remember when I heard the term. I was curious about like the choice. I just know like the main reason was to like I think to to come away from like the original terminology because again it it kind of came from like the divisions that as it was in the World War. You know, first world was like allies, second world was Axis, and then third world was everyone else. So using it continuously is a little, uh, not, it's, I, I think it's confusing. Or at least it's just not accurate to the original terminology. Uh, I need to heal people. That's one down. Ugh. Okay, great. Um, when are my skills gonna be good here? I should probably do this on Jody just so she can get some MP back. She's been using a lot of it.
Today on New Things I Learned from Miss Wham. You learn as I learn. And hopefully I, I learned it somewhat correctly. <laughs> Otherwise I'll feel bad. I learned, you know, fun fact, I learned a terminology watching a video about book piracy. <laughs> so it wasn't even related. That's why I'm not sure. I'm like... That's what I was he hearing used in a video, that's what I heard described, but uh, the full reasons, uh, don't quote me on the full reasons. It wasn't the topic of the video. <laughs> nice. Ooh, this, this healing thing is great. Nice, I leveled up. And I got this little chest. A powerhouse pin? What is that? I want to see that. Let's see, I think it's a charm. Allows the wearer to preserve any star power left over at the end of every battle for use in the next fight. Ooh. Okay, I have to think. Who do I want to give that to? That would be great for me, but... Boost the effect of HP and MP healing spells by 50%. I did that because she has so much health and MP. So I feel like if other stuff was used on her, it's not as effective. But Jody also has a lot of MP. She has right back at you, gives a chance to counterattack. And Claire has Mana Saber, which, uh, yeah, that is good for her. Um, wow. Okay, it's been a while since I've seen a bot come in. How about, no thank you, uh, good day. Adios, muchacho. And even if you're not a bot, uh, we do not do this. Excuse me, one second. Goodbye. Alright. Anyway, <laughs> we learned a new bot phrase today. Doge hype is banned on this. Do not say it. Or else, I you will be exterminated. <laughs> anyway, the only interesting thing I know is my home language came into existence when slaves tried to speak Dutch. Oh, that is interesting. Hey, thank you for the follow, James May. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Wham Fam. Really appreciate you dropping the follow here. I'm sure you'll learn more interesting things. Now you know two interesting things. You're adding. You're adding to your repertoire. Anyway, I want to equip it, but I'm not sure who to equip it on. I think... Hmm. Let me look at skills really quick. Paladin's Gift is good. Magic Aura is good. Hmm... The only one who really- like, either me or Allison would benefit from this. I'm gonna say I'll give it to Allison, because she can use it for all her punching attacks then. Hence, I can basically understand Dutch when spoken to me slowly. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, that's true. So you're like, half multilingual. <laughs> I guess bilingual. I don't know how many languages you speak. I'm going to say multilingual because it's pretty much the same thing. I am enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. Have you played it before or are you just saying in general? Well, welcome, welcome.
Okay, I think that was all in this area. Um, so I should probably go- Ah! Well, I speak two languages and understand three, I guess. Let's just say multilingual. Then I think that's fair. I think that's fine. Alright, gotta start off by kissing my girlfriend, Allison. And then, let's do fire breath. And... We'll just frost you. And we'll slow-mo this dude. Get slowed, bro. And little lasers. Nice. Okay, so it is weak to ice. That's good to know. Um, let's see. Let's do gust. Um, I will attack that one, guard, and attack the other one. Nice. Mana drain. Oh my, bruh. Jody already has so little mana. And you're gonna drain her mana from her? That is so rude. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna heal here. You beat the game already, but have to do another playthrough the really 100%. But the reason why I have to keep quiet is because of spoilers. Oh, well, I appreciate you not spoiling anything, but awesome! I know this game has been out for a little bit. Not like, super long. But at least long enough for people to finish. I, I kind of feel bad for taking a little bit of a break from this game last week. I'm excited to, to finish it and see the ending myself. I do know that it seems like, yeah. You would need to play it a few times to, you know, see everything that you can get done in this game, right? There are multiple ways things can go depending on your choices. At least that's what it seems like from what I'm seeing in the dialogue so far. Um, gee, I don't have enough to restore. Mm, I'm gonna do this. Just so I can uh, restore some MP to Jody. Wow, this is really taking her MP from her. Okay, now I can do that. Give her an MP, and then we can kill the rest of these things. Goodbye. Oh, I thought it would die. Well, I'll just smack it. Nice. Multi Scorch. Ooh, nice. Nice, Claire. Okay, so I meant to go this way. I meant to go back up. And back this way. Whoops. Eh, but I don't want to deal with you guys right now. Goodbye. Oh, there she is. There you are. Yeah, the place I was talking about is just past the spike pit. And you're positive this is where Javis has been hiding? Positive. This place has Javis written all over it. I'll meet you up ahead. I think I know how to get you in. Ah! Okay, fine. I'll fight you. So rude. Well, first I gotta kiss Allison. Um, fire breath. Multi scorch looks cool, but I can't do it yet. So I'm just gonna do um, frost. Do 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 do. And let's guard Claire, just cause Claire always gets hit so much. They see her low HP and are like, ah, yes, must murder. It's 
See, there they go. Then I'm going to do I'm gonna do a mana drain. Oh I know. What mana drain on you? Because why not? And then fan the flames. Gills. I'm gonna do multi scorch just to see what it's like. And then what does Binding Chain do? Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I don't think I need that yet. Dang, it was so close to dying. The burn should kill it, though. Right? Um... I don't really need to do anything but attack this, so let's do that. Smack down. Alright, Jody, can you take care of this? No? Oh, there we go. Thank you! You on the list? Huh? List? Might be. The name's Neff. Your boss tried to recruit me the other day. Wait, what? Hmm, let's see here. Yep, there you are. I like how they're just indistinguishable. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Neff. Glad to see you're joining us after all. And hey, am I allowed to bring guests? My friends here want to join your cause too. Wait, we don't. Just roll with it. <laughs> yeah, we're also here to become monsters. Hmm. I'm only on the no-fly list. <laughs> oh, no. Well, hey, you know, there's still many other modes of transportation you can do. <laughs> hmm. You know, they kind of look like those animal folks Lord Javis told us to keep an eye out for. What? I don't look like an animal. Look at me. Definitely not. What do you think, Ricochet? Do I look like an animal? Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, we get that all the time. Well, if they're with the mummy, I guess it's okay. You can head on inside. Alright, sweet. Javis. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. This does look like it's where Javis is hanging out. Okay, Javis. <laughs> Not really hiding very well, are you? Ooh. Kind of grooving in here. So this is the Javis guy I've heard so much about. Or, well, a hologram of him. There's a message. Here, let me read it. <clears throat> Wham is an animal? Unsubbing, unfollowing, reporting. I swear I'm not! How could you ever think that? <laughs> Would an animal be wearing, uh, clothes? <laughs> Attention, everyone. We hope you're becoming acclimated to your new surroundings. You'll be holding a strategy meeting at noon. Attendance is mandatory, an ID badge is required for admittance. Refreshments may or may not be served. Dang, you do a good job as impression. Oh, yes, that was definitely my impression. Um, it hurts my throat if I talk like that too much. That meeting sounds like the perfect opportunity to find out what Javis is up to. You said you need an ID badge to get in. There should be one somewhere in here, right? Dang, this place is, uh, different from how I remembered it. Music's pretty good, though. I'll keep an eye on the entrance for the time being, but I'm gonna scout things up ahead out soon. You just go do your adventure stuff. We'll talk later. Can do. First step. We gotta save. Okay, so I need to find an ID card for that door, presumably. So, um... Let's look around, I guess. Huh? Where... Where... Where are the doors? Oh, okay. This is a very odd place. 
This room has nothing in it. Okay, so these torches indicate doors. So what about this one? Okay, this goes somewhere. Okay. Um. The frick? Oh. Been enjoying working on models because it, it's just another version of my Sona. Now I just have to wait two weeks to finish it. And I really appreciate you working on my model. Guys, we don't know, Manifer is doing you the favor of helping me get a 3D model, and it's going great. Plus, extra dedication to Manifer for trying to figure out how to color it with my hair. You know, it's easy to do my hair in 2D. I never thought about how difficult it would be in 3D. <laughs> I was like, yeah, easy. Just throw some stripes in there. Sand switch is currently disabled. Find the master control terminal to activate. Okay. Um, good to know. It's locked. Great. Great. That's fine. Uh, this looks like a door down here and over there. So that's fine. Um... Oh, wow. Nice music. Chromatic Colossus. They look be- I love your leggings. <laughs> they look beautiful. It's not your pattern. Whoever made the hair should be jailed or sent to an asylum. I'm very curious because I'm like- I, I understand it from an outside view, but I'm really curious like how messed up it is from someone who's like worked with that stuff before. <laughs> Sounds like a big thing. Gotta kiss Allison. Uh, we'll burn everything. We'll do a scorch on you just to see how you take it and barrier on Claire. My standard startup. Oh dear, Allison's taking a lot of damage. Okay, let's do um, uh, second aid on Allison. Um, we'll do fan to flames on you. Multi scorch, and uh, we will do time heal some wounds to heal everyone. Everyone's targeting Allison. Stop it. Okay, maybe, um, heal Claire. Allison's frozen, that's great. <laughs> if I give Allison Flame Blade, I think it'll break her out of that then. Let's do... Lomo on you. Let's put it this way. Imagine trying to paint 10 images, but they're all just ripped apart and glued back together by just throwing them all in a blender filled with glue. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I understand what you're saying. That sounds atrocious. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, truly a testament to <laughs> your dedication at your kitchen. <laughs> putting a at this. <laughs> Man. That sounds terrible. Let's do taunts with Jody. Um, Jody can take some hits right now. Over here, dummy. God, let me. I need to bring Allison out of that. Um, let's do. What? Where is the one that poison burns? Oh, here we go. Ice related. Okay. Attack boost on Allison and um let's go kill this bat. Look at all the things Allison has on her right now. No, I'm frozen. Bruh. Okay, that's not good. Um 
I have something that can help with that, though. Let's see. Poison, blindness. Do I have nothing that can heal with, uh, heal... Frozen status? I don't have anything that can heal frozen status. Ah, uh, crud. Crud, 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 crud. Okay, um... We need to kill these bats. They are messing everything up. There we go. Okay, finally. Come on. Pretty sure the modeler made the whole model, didn't want to do hair, grabbed one off shady side and stuck it on. Oh. Uh, I can kind of understand being a little lazy with the hair, but... Mm. But then should they really be selling the hair with it? I don't know. It's a... I guess it's a little bit of a gray area with it. Okay, let me go ahead and heal everyone. I'm very sorry, everyone. You almost died in that fight. Huh. I mean... Oh! It's fine. Bruh. There's a chest right there and it's so cool looking. Depends what the TOS of the hair is. True enough. Don't I have a way to cure this? To uncorrupt this? I thought I had a way to purify this. Bark, 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 bark. I guess not. It's not showing up as an option. It clips through the head, so clearly not for me from the model itself. <laughs> Madifer, I congrat I, <laughs> I I congratulate you on this <laughs> dealing with that. <laughs> That would bother me a lot. <laughs> I'd be- I'd have such a headache with that. Honestly, if it comes to it, I'm fine if it has to be like a single color. <laughs> that sounds like a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and start building up my star power because um, I'm gonna need it. we'll just try to no let's try to frost so that can at least freeze it that would be great then we'll do a barrier on player little pinchy man i love that name little pinchy Okay. Corrupted. Oh, great. Okay, now I'm gonna do my gift on myself and restore my MP. Oh, but Jody's MP is also looking pretty bad. Um, 
Let's do... Shoot. I'll do it on her. And we'll fan the flames on you. We'll do magic missile. You'll make it work even if you even if you have to find different hair. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't come to it. That would be unfortunate. But if it would honestly be easier, then yeah, that might actually be be the better option. <laughs> if that would just be easier in the long run. Oh God. Okay. Uh, shoot. Uh, Allison is down. Okay, I have a tear though, so it's fine. I'm always willing to cry my tears for Allison. No! Stop hitting her! I mean, it's easy for me. I just sit back and let my actual smart friend deal with it. <laughs> Fair. That is true. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta rely on the talents of others. Or by just, hmm, really gets more experience with it. Because honestly, you've been doing pretty really great work on that. I, that's also what I'm doing with you, is I'm like, all right, you paid my model. I trust your expertise, so I don't have to try and fail. And also spend money on buying a program and then have to learn this program. Hmm. I'm gonna really need to restore Melody's MP soon. Ooh, another chest. What? That chest just ran away from me. Ah! Color wheel? Wow. I love you, color wheel. You're my best friend. I'm gonna... Let's yoink from it, just because I think that'd be funny. Swiped her palette. What? Claire's colors! Claire's colors are gone! What does that do? The bra- bra. <laughs> who the- who other colors will you steal? Distressing. <laughs> there we go. I forgot I have a bunch of ethers I haven't used. I can do substance fader because I use it for your own projects, and I'm technically a qualified graphic designer, but I'm not gonna learn Blender. I'm kind of in the same position. <laughs> and on one hand, I, it would be cool to learn Blender and be able to like utilize, you know, 3D work for projects and such. But man. Then I have to learn Blender. <laughs> Where's the doorway? I just went through it. These doorways are so finicky. Should we use a key? Yeah. A frog bomb? That's the cutest bomb I've ever seen. Well, I gotta kiss Allison. Obviously. Um... What happens if I set a bomb on fire? That does not seem like a good idea, TBH. 
That seems like a bad idea. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna set it on ice. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't have a passion for 3D work, I think it'll be too hard to learn Blender. Yeah. I think I'm satisfied with Blender and stuff like that being like one of those things where it's like... There are other people out there who, who specialize in it or do it more often than me. People who, you know, could benefit from, you know... Uh, advertising of their work being like... Or getting asked to do work. I know it's, it's nice to get asked to do, like, commissions and stuff. But sometimes I don't need to do everything on my own. <laughs> Especially if it's something that I will struggle with anyway. Let's see. I guess I could just attack. Oh, the frostbite again. I hate the frostbite. There we go. And just in case, I am gonna do... Um... Where's the one that I weaken? Resilient Aura, thank you. There we go. Try to freeze us now. Oh, I keep forgetting to ask. You ever consider doing 2D avatars as commission work? Uh, probably not. At least not until like I have more time on my hands. With grad school, I don't think I could do it. But maybe if I, maybe when I finish grad school, I would consider doing it. Um, especially since I'm probably going to continue making models and such. So maybe by then I'll have a lot more experience with how to do it on a bit more of a workable time frame than I currently do now. Because I do enjoy making models. But it is also, yeah, it is a lot of work. Need to dedicate time to it. And I'm still learning stuff. Especially, like, they added, like, they added blend shapes. And I'm, like, super excited to, like, learn how to use those. Because I, I did not use any for Rocket Moon. I think if I did, it would make things easier. But it is something I've thought about because, like I said, I enjoy it. Um, I, I have a very specific style for it, which I think some people like. It's fun. Ace Law says, bread fried on butter with an egg in the middle. Mmm, very classic. I love, you know what, I do like to have eggs for breakfast and I have them with like toast and stuff and I have like tomato sauce and sour cream the whole thing. It's my classic breakfast. Gives you a chance to save up then. Breath. That is something I have to consider, is how much I would like, how I would do it. I've seen a lot of people talk about how uh, difficult it is to set prices on it. A lot of contention right now with their something is enough or too expensive. I'd have to really figure out like my, how long it takes me to do it and what a good price would be to put on my work. Melody's still cute as ever, true. Melody's here trying her best to keep everyone alive right now. Okay, um... Let me think. I really need to get some MP back. I'm like, been not dying on MP. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll just attack. Well, they are hard to make, so I feel like a lot of the prices are justified. I do too, for sure. I'm just, <laughs> I admit, I'm just a little, little spooky. I see people complain about them online and I'm like, I could not deal. <laughs> I 
But I'm also like one of those people who's like, why are you guys complaining? Like, you can't do this. It's a lot of work. If you think it should be cheaper, then you go ahead and do it. Show us how cheap it can be. I will say it's totally possible to like, you know, learn how to do it on as well. It's not impossible, but it is it it is time consuming. Huh? What the heck? Help Melody and friends find the treasure. Um does jo Javis know we are here? Hey, it's Vino. Hi Vino. Welcome, welcome. Rocket me. Did you say hi to Vino? Say hi to Vino. Hello, Vino. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, I, th I think I have to follow this maze. Well. I don't know what happens if I try to cross the lines. Should I do it? Okay, I can't. So this literally is like a maze. Not just on the floor. I like this little picture of Melody though. Look at her. She's cute. Damn it. Damn it. You spent years learning how to do it and do it well? Takes you many hours to make. Too expensive. Somewhere on the internet. I mean, yeah, people are like, if I can't afford it, then it's not fair. And it's like, I'm sorry, but it is like a big thing to buy. <laughs> you know? Plus, it's not like you need to have a model if you can't afford it. People get PNGs and stuff. I want to pet her. <laughs> Your A doesn't want to be typed. Your A is rebelling against you. Let's kiss Allison, do fire breath. Um, try to freeze. And let's taunt. Need to make my PNG tube. You should. I want to see it. PNG tubers, honestly, like, are super great. That's where I started. And I like, I keep mine as a redeem because I do like it. Rocket me, you're also a PNG before. Now you're here. You know, stepping stones. This helper jelly is going to be a pain in the butt. I can already tell. Let's do chomp on that. Nah, she's drain oh no, I was draining, never mind. <laughs> Some people just don't understand the concept of can't afford it, just move on. I prefer the can't afford it, do without if, it, if, if possible. <laughs> Very true. I mean, it's like the same principle as like most, you know, most luxury things, right? Like even just with like, we don't have to go all the way all the models, like any kind of art and stuff. Like you don't need it. And it sucks if you can't afford it, but it is always important to, like, pay the creator, like, what it's worth. Because they do put work into it. This is a very special, special thing that they're making out of their special skill. You know, they cultivate it with, like, a lot of time. And they deserve, you know, they deserve what that time was worth. It's not like you'll never ever be able to like there's always a chance uh, that you'll be able to afford it later you know just because you can't have it right now doesn't mean that you can't have it later so why why you know why make a big thing out of it? I'm gonna do um i'm gonna do second aid on you I want to kill the slime. That's my problem. Let's just punch it. I'm sure it'll be fine. And then... Lightning blade. 
And let's just keep attacking. Magic Missile, and let's just attack the Colossus. The Colossus, honestly, is probably the biggest problem here. There we go. After the Helper Jelly, I mean, the Helper Jelly was healing too much. He had to save up for it, not like the artist will ever do commissions again. Besides, there are so many talented people in the community. If you look hard enough, you'll always find someone within your budget. Very true. People, especially like people who get like a lot of commissions, they have a very full queue or just, you know, built up a really high brand. They will usually generally charge more because, you know, they they have that brand behind them. But there are other people who are, you know, still developing, you know, still building their brand. And those are usually the ones that one really would like benefit from getting commissions from you and two, usually are more affordable. Let's do that. I have a bit of FOMO because there's some artists I've gotten art from that just don't take emissions or do art anymore. Oh, that is sad to hear. That is understandable though, you know, sometimes people get burnt out. I know people who, I know personally, like, when I did too many projects or just like had, had a lot of art block, I just stopped doing art for a very long time. I, I think COVID especially kind of killed my some of my desire to do art. I didn't do too much during COVID that I can remember. It was a very difficult time for it. It probably, if it weren't for straight, like coming to start streaming and, you know, talking to more people after COVID was kind of dying down, I, I probably would still be on kind of an art hiatus, TBH. I found it like way easier to like do art and stuff and projects when I can like when I can like share it with all you guys just hope they don't take a year to do your commission totally not speaking of an experience I'm currently going through yeah stuff like that is why um it is I try to be careful about people with big queues and stuff, and while I also personally try not to have a huge queue for myself. I like it when people tend to have like um, an estimated wait time on their queue so you kind of know what to expect. Because then you can kind of choose like, you know, if this amount of time is like something that you can do, or if it's a little too dicey for you. I think the highest I've ever queued up for was like for three months or something. Cause like the other, the problem with me, especially with longer queues is I will forget that I queued up for something. And then like, I will not, I will not press for updates. And then uh, that's a bad in case like they forget about my commission or maybe uh, just totally ghost me on it. Got a head bust and waited one week to get it. Commission them again been a year oh man have they posted anything like have they sometimes people at least say like hey uh, this might take a bit longer have they said anything about like why their queue is so like their why their wait time is so long because if not um that is very dicey yeah I'm just gonna guard on this first turn so I can bury your Claire.
Also, I just realized it's been about an hour, which is usually when I take a little break in my recording and to, to do an ad to kill the pre-roll. So after this battle, I will do that. This is what happens when you're having a, a pretty good combo on stream is you forget what time. I, see, I'm time blind. This, this is what I'm saying. If I if I had to wait for something longer than three months, I would forget. <laughs> I, I get distracted so easily. They keep promising it'll be done by the end of the month and I get like two small updates in silence. But other people get their commissions and she keeps hosting personal work. Oh dear. Yeah, that is, that is a very difficult situation. I am very sorry to hear that because if they are working on other stuff, like they should at least give you, you know, like a more reassuring update. <laughs> Because, you know, when you take on a client, you have a sort of responsibility to your client to, like, keep them up to date, keep them informed, but also, you know, keep them in the loop about stuff in case, you know, you want to keep your client happy and reassured by you if you want them to come back for more, right? And I don't know, maybe, maybe they think that, like, the one commission they did is enough of a reassurance. That really is, should not be the case. Reminds me of the artist that I waited for like a year for a commission and they kept posting in their group chat. Hey, anyone want to have a commission for me or buy this ICH? Oh yeah, that is a big red flag for me. There was an artist that I had been thinking about commissioning. Um, I won't say who. Um, there, I, I, it's been so long I can't really ruin specific name anyway. Um, and I was just kind of watching their commissions for a while because I was saving up money. They they were a bigger brand, so I would have to save up more money to get a commission. And I noticed that they had like a very long queue with people waiting for uh, quite a while. I was like watching their queue to see like, uh, see when the best time to order commission would be that would fit within my normal wait time that I feel comfortable with. And they just, they kept at like promoting like new types of commissions without it didn't seem like they were finishing a lot of their prior commissions i was like mm, i don't know if this is a good idea for me so i didn't end up commissioning them i don't actually know what happened with them i haven't checked back but it's stuff like that that make me a little hmm like if i message them now i'll probably get an update but i know i'll be silent after that like, I can't recommend them to anyone after this. Yeah, that's understandable. I definitely would feel uncomfortable recommending someone with an experience like that. Because, like, even if the commission ends up fine in the end, like, anyone who commissions them in the future will probably have to go through a similar experience, and it's stressful. It's anxiety-inducing to not know what's going on when you put money into something. You know? There we go. Those tears in space time. Multi frost. Hell yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna take a quick break to run the ads. Take a quick stretch for myself, and just to have the recording that I'm doing pause. So, hang on tight, guys. We'll be right back. Resuming this game very shortly. Break time. 